The town of Hunstanton marks the beginning of the Norfolk Coast Path section of the National Trail. The route to Cromer starts along the cliff tops, passing the ruined St Edmund Chapel, Hunstanton Lighthouse and the Lightboat Watchtower. Once on the beach there are a couple of options, with it being firmer underfoot closer to the sea. Once past the signpost marking the end of the Pedder's Way, the route makes its way towards home next to the sea National Nature Reserve. Following the sea bank, the route passes Thornham, before taking a detour inland to eventually come round to Brancaster, where the edge of the marshes are followed past Brancaster Roman Fort and on to Burnham Deeptail for an overnight stop. Leaving the seaside town of Hunstanton behind, the route begins by backtracking along two and a half miles that was walked yesterday to the end of the Pedder's Way. The cliff top path passes the ruins of St Edmund's Chapel, the lighthouse and the lifeboat lookout tower to arrive at the beach. I've decided to keep closer to the sea to avoid most of the softest sand and have something a little firmer underfoot to walk on. The wide open sands and pools are home to an amazing array of wildlife, with oyster catchers and red shanks seen all along this section. After about a mile, the route leaves the beach and heads slightly inland to the signpost that marks the end of the Pedder's Way. It's 44 and a half miles from here to the end of the trail at Cromer, which should take another three days after today at a leisurely pace. Shortly after the end of the Pedder's Way, the path becomes much firmer underfoot as a hard track is followed along the top of the sea wall. The path leads all the way to home next to the sea, a large nature reserve owned and managed by Norfolk Wildlife Trust and home to many rare species and amazing wildlife. The coastal path actually takes in views of some of the freshwater lakes that make up a mosaic of habitats around home dunes, before following the seawall once again south towards the village of Thornham. Thornham Church of All Saints dates back to the 13th century, with alterations in the 15th and 19th centuries. 
Just round the corner from the church is the Checkers Inn, which dates to the mid-17th century and offers food and has comfortable rooms providing the perfect place for a stop, if starting out from Sedgwood earlier today instead of Hunstanton. Heading further east along the A149, Chosley Road is the point where the inland detour is started. The lane is followed southeast, gently uphill to a height of about 35 metres above sea level. The occasional break in the hedge line allows for some lovely views over the fields and back to the coastline. Once the road is left, there's still about two and a half miles of track walking northeast and then north into the neighbouring village of Brancaster. It has to be said that this detour inland is definitely the worst part of the day's walk, with little interest along the way. As you enter the village of Brancaster, you are greeted by the beautiful parish church of St Mary. The church has origins dating back to the 12th century and given a Grade 1 listing. The coastal path follows a boardwalk on the edge of the village and marshes, as it progresses east in the direction of Cromer. After about half a mile there's an optional little detour to take a look at Brancaster Roman Fort. The Roman Fort of Branadunum dates to between 225 and 250 AD and replaces an older fort on the same site. Although only earthworks and crop marks remain, there are reports that stone walls remained in situ on the site until the 18th century when they were demolished. Other crop marks around the site show the layout of the Vicus, the civilian settlement that grew up around the fortification. The coastal path passes Brancaster Stave, providing a chance for seafood and ice cream before the walk makes its way along the marshes once more. The marshes and waterways around here are extensive, with hundreds of boats dotted along the horizon and countless channels amongst the salt marsh. Turning inland into Burnham Deepdale, there is a chance to see the village church, with its rare late Saxon round tower dating to between 1050 and 1100. Opposite the church is Dalegate Market, with several shops including a cafe offering tasty food and breakfasts, and a small supermarket and petrol station. Located next door to the petrol station is Deepdale Hostel and Campsite, providing suitable overnight accommodation.